Hey everyone, I'm making a video. I've been away for a while, I haven't made a video. Partly because I've been busy and lazy. More lazy than, <laughs> than busy, but uh, anyways, I got one, I'm gonna put this to rest. Summer's over, the blanket's going on. I gotta clean it up, but I got one thing I have to show you, and it's the Emerson Sure Switch. It's really cool. It's a, um, it's a replacement from a, uh, from a mechanical contact. It's a universal electronic upgrade. So it comes with the sealed switch. The sealed switch, no more bugs, no more ants, and it has our optical sensor, so no more pitting of the contacts. The days of the, the, the time delay in the contactor are over. I'm just gonna use these from now on. Um, I have to install one. I haven't installed one yet, but I've always I fell in love with this when it when it came out with this in 2006, I think it was, because of the optical sensor which sees the light from the compressor going on and off. There's arcing with the optical sensor. It's going to time it in the waveform where the unit turns on and shuts off at zero volts or pretty close to zero volts. Volts, so there's no arcing of the contacts very minimal so it lasts longer no icing of the indoor coil because the contact is stuck no more pitting no more bugs no more buzzing boom it's over alrighty I'm gonna go put the sure switch in I'll show you a couple a couple other things got the common the Y the tricolor the tricolor LED test button, line voltage run out protection, short cycle protection, and a random start is right here. You can have them off or on, which is nice. Count timer, it'll tell you the, the life cycle of the sure switch. And then you got your L1, L2, common run. All your flag terminals right here crankcase heater crankcase heater cap cap hard start kit and fan common then when you install it you actually take it out like this and there's your base your mounting base the mounting base is about the size of, of a three pole contactor and the sure switch also has a um, zero chatter latching relay, which is kind of cool. So there's no um, no holding voltage is needed on the sure switch, kind of like a um, you know like on a regular contactor it has a holding voltage. So these these are these actually consume a lot of power for 24 volts. These are actually power hogs. So with the um, latching relay. You know, you're not gonna get your buzzing and this this uses less power so it helps when you have long uh, line sets and slight low voltage problems this is this is gonna work perfect and that's what causes the the arcing too a lot of the arcing because these these things are sluggish so they're, they're they're really not quick reacting so I'm gonna go put this thing in see how, how it works Alright, I got the perfect candidate for the Emerson Sure Switch. It's a RA MB036 JAZ manufactured March of 2000. So I'm going to change out the single pole contactor with the Sure Switch. So the base is going to go there. It's going to mount on the top there. It's going to be pretty easy. Uh, the neighborhood that it's in has experienced uh, low voltage in the past so the contacts are pitted it's not uncommon to see the voltage down to 217 so with the optical sensor I don't have to worry about my contacts going to mush anymore so it's going to be pretty easy I'm going to install the smart box inside clean it up when I'm all done I'll get back with you because I'm, I'm not going to show you how I wire it I'm just going to wire it and it's mostly for the techs 
but uh, it's not going to be too bad. Alright, I'll get back at you in a minute. I'm in the process of installing the shear switch, so I have the base mounted with two screws. And then I'm going to put this down like that. She's going to go right like that. I got my 24 going into here, my uh, compressor contacts, and my line voltage coming in here. Nice and simple. I mounted my smart box over here, so it's, I just have to rewire that up and we'll be looking good. We're all done. It's installed. I'm going to test it out and see how it works. It's pretty, pretty simple to install, so no big deal. It has a test button on it so I can test it to see if it's working, I got uh, green light, slow green, standby. Let me test it out and see. Oh yeah. I like it. Let me try it again. I like it because it's uh, actually a little bit quieter because you don't hear the thumping of that contactor. So it's smooth starting. So I'm going to go fire up the air and see how it works. Yeah, this uh, sure switch is great, but it has a, um, it's in standby, so it's going to fire up, but it has a test test button, uh, a brownout delay, a uh, three minute time delay, and a count timer so you can see the, um, uh, how many times the, uh, the count timer so you can see how many times the um, contact has been activated through its lifetime. But uh, what's really cool about this is it delays on the 24 and it also delays on the 230. So on a conventional, you know, you got a conventional time delay with a conventional contactor. If somebody shuts that breaker off and then turns it back on again, it's still going to fire up. It's, it's only delays on the if somebody cuts the 24 volts to it. So it's, I think it's uh, that brownout protection is great. And then they got the the random start too, anywhere from five to 30 seconds. Brownout, I think, is 180 volts and down. It'll shut down. And you can also, the time delays I have on, you can shut those off if you don't want them. You can, you can shut those off. I'm going to uh, wait for this thing to fire here. But uh, the, the old contactor was always, uh, was always lazy pull, pulling in on this unit. This, this thing just, like, fires like a brand new. To put life back into the condenser, but I'll show you that 230 volt uh, delay. It's really cool. Three minutes isn't that bad either. That brownout protection is really important because there's a lot of brownouts where it takes it takes the fuses of the overheats the compressor. So there it starts now. So it's cool. About this, if I pull the disconnect. Throw the disconnect back in. It's going to delay. Voila. Really cool. Alright, thanks for watching.